Hello, you're welcome to this session and the topic we're going to be dealing with is developing personal values and responsibility. Once again, my name is Ezine Uzoije and I'll be taking you through this entire session. Right, so just before we dive in, don't forget that you're supposed to go take your own pretest at bit.ly slash p-r-e-d-e-v. If you've not taken this test already, pause right now, pause this video right now, and head over to take your own test. Okay, so if you've taken it, let's proceed. At the end of this session, you're going to be able to know how to define values identify the different values in the Nigerian setting, compare values at the workplace and professionalism, you'll be able to understand the difference between ethical and unethical values, and then the steps that you can take to keeping your own personal values. All right, so what are values? We've mentioned that this topic is developing personal values and responsibilities. What are values? What comes to your mind when value is mentioned? If you know, you can type it in the comment section right now. Okay, right. So values, according to Business Dictionary, are important and lasting beliefs shared by the members of a culture about what is good or bad and desirable or undesirable. Okay, so values expresses the worth of something. It's something that can motivate and guide your decisions. So let's say that, for instance, your your value, one of your values are honesty. It will affect how you make your decisions. It will affect how you relate with someone else. When it comes to situations where a lie is necessary, a lie has been demanded, when your value system is honesty, you will see that it's guiding your relationship at that point. It's guiding how you will respond to that situation. Okay? So, that's just an example I gave. Values include so much more than just honesty. Right, and we're going to dive into all of that. But what I want you to take out of this is that values are things that affect how you relate to other people and your activities in any environment that you find yourself in, and they can influence your outcome, they can influence the future that you have eventually. All right, so we've talked about values. What about personal responsibilities? So, personal responsibilities are the, how you stay focused on the things that you can control directly. So basically, you have personal responsibility over your own words, over your own actions, over your own thoughts. That is your personal responsibility. You get to um, decide what you say, how you act, how you respond to situations. Okay, that is yours. But for someone else, somebody that is respond um, acting in a certain way that you don't want you don't get to influence that person's actions sometimes it's not your personal responsibility for the person's actions but your responsibility falls into your reaction to the person's action okay so when it comes to personal responsibilities the key is that you you the, you stay focused on the things that you can control so when there is a situation happening and many other people there are acting many ways that they want to act it's your personal responsibility to ask yourself how do i want to act in this situation okay do you act because you saw others acting the way they did, then it was you that made that decision that is responsible for that decision to act that way. So, I hope you've understood um, the difference between personal values and personal responsibility. And of course, your values can influence your personal responsibilities. When you have certain value system, it can guide the way you respond to situations. It can guide the way that you stay focused on the things that you can control. All right, so I'm going to give us, show us an example that may further push this picture home. So this, imagine this scenario, imagine that you're working in a fish farm and you and two other colleagues were asked to actually go and buy fish feed. You were given money, maybe up to 350,000 naira to go and buy fish feed. And that's quite interesting. Now, on your way there, 
your your colleagues started giving you suggestions right one of them told you that you know what why not us get inferior quality of this fish feed for 230,000 naira and maybe the person can let you uh, remind you that you know you actually need this money make it look like it's something that is for your own good and not even for their own good so as i could say you can use your many money to complete your house rent Maybe you've, you've had money issues for a while and that colleague knows about it. So he'll bring the idea of buying lower quality feeds and telling you, oh, take this chance. It will help you to complete your house rent. Why your other colleague is saying, I wouldn't suggest you do that. Your other colleague is just saying, no, don't do that. Now, in that situation, what would you do? Okay, you've come to, you've come to this situation where you can actually buy something of lesser quality and have spare money that you can use and set to your need. What would you do? Regardless of what every other person is saying. Okay. Now, what action would you take at that point would be determined by your value system and then your personal responsibility. So when your value system is honesty, of course, you already know that it will be quite difficult for you to just say, oh, let's buy the cheaper of inferior quality and then cover it up right and it's your personal responsibility at that point in time to respond to whatever suggestion you're being given if the suggestion is something that is not in line with your value system you can choose to say no this is what and what i want to do concerning this situation i hope this scenario paints the picture clear about um how to see personal values and responsibility all right, so this quote by Dwight Eisenhoa is something that I really love. It says, a people that values its privileges above its principles soon loses both. So this is just saying that as a person, you are supposed to have um, principles that guide your life. Okay, and those principles, there will be situations when it's there are privileges or seemingly privileges that you cannot access because there are principles guiding your life so going back to this previous example you already know that for the fact that he would choose this 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 female would choose that she would not spend money on inferior feed that privilege of getting spare money to settle her house range house rent is already gone okay so the thing is if you actually value that privilege of oh i can cut corners and get the money from this feed money and then use it and complete my husband before you know it she could be found out and then she loses both both the principle both the privilege people just know her as oh this is a dishonest person this is not somebody you can hire in your company a lot of things could go wrong okay so the thing is Personal values are things that can help us live a good life. And as we go forward, we'll see the different applications and the different um, scenarios that we can always apply these things for a profitable outcome for our own lives. All right. So I want us to understand something. Values differ from culture to culture what do i mean by that the value system that you see in a particular culture may be different from the value system that you see in another culture it may be different from the value system that you see in an individual okay so it differs city by city country by country individual by individual so people usually have their own sets of values if a country has their own set of values is known as their value system okay so nigeria as a country has a value system right so and in value systems there are different things that affect things as you can see so in the nigerian scenario they are, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a country that has different cultures and different languages, all right? So, there are different varying cultural values that you find in Nigeria. What do I mean? I mean that a tribe's value system may be quite different from another tribe's value system, right? So, but Nigeria as a whole has guiding value system so things like respect for elders patriotism 
brotherly affection, honesty, integrity, those are the value system that you see that the entire country has as a whole, irrespective of the different languages, the different cultures that you can see in Nigeria. Okay? Now, I hope this pushes it clear to you. So this will make it clearer to you why things like um, vices, like um, kidnapping, and robbery, those are the things that they are not looked at very well. They are, they are looked at with, you know, there's like encouragement of the people to actually embody honesty, embody hard work so that they can stay off vices. All right. Okay. So I hope you've understood how the values for Nigeria look like. And I want to also tell us something. Just like Nigeria as a country has its value system, at the workplace, you can also have a different value system there. So I want to show as an example, right? This is just a story, a fictional story, but it's going to push closer home to you how value systems work at the workplace in Nigeria in the Nigerian context. So Aken and Obina are colleagues at Ziggy Bank and are both good at their jobs. However, they both do not quite get along for many reasons. Number one, while Akin resumes work very early, Obina thinks that what is important is to get the job done and make profits, irrespective of what time one resumes. They both relate with their customers very well. Obina always shakes and smiles with them, sometimes just waving, while Akin always prostrates for his elders or shakes with both hands out of respect. He is of the opinion that Obina is proud. Okay, now the recent whistleblowing policy of the federal government is ongoing and Obina sees an opportunity to become richer by exposing all his customers whose source of income is not genuine, while Akin feels that the policy is not ethical and violates professionalism and confidentiality. confidentiality. Now, this story is a typical story that shows you different things at once. Right. If you look at this, you see that as a corporate institution that they are working at, they already have value systems of their own. So when you see that Aken is supposed to resume early and then Obina does not think so, the value system that comes into play there is the corporate value system, the value system that is at a workplace. So if the workplace says everybody resume early, then, in this situation, Obina needs to also resume early. Alright? Okay, so let's come over to this part where there is a whistleblowing policy by the Nigerian government. And somebody sees an opportunity to become richer. Okay? And says, oh, I think I know some customers of mine that their source of income is not genuine. Right? So, what comes into play here is, what, what, what... What, what value system guides them at that point in time? Because at that point in time, they are bound by their personal values, number one. They are bound by their company values, number two. And they are bound by the country's value. So Nigeria is saying, oh, you be a patriot and you can actually mention people, customers that you know that their sources of income is not genuine. Why the company may say, our customers' um, information is private. You don't release it to anybody. And one of them, his value system could be, oh, I'm going to be honest and expose people if it's going to help me make money. At this point, I'm going to leave this question for you. What do you think at each point in time? What do you think is guiding? What do you think they should do at each point in time? Which value system should they actually adhere to drop it in the comments right now this is a very important thing that you need to reflect on because situations like this will keep coming up right and i need you to thoroughly think about this and then come up to a conclusion drop it in the comments what do you think what would you do in this situation what do you think is right or wrong what value system should be adhered to all right okay so let's continue now there are values at the workplace everywhere that you work you will see that they are in, 
different values that work for different workplaces. And values are important in the workplace because they guide what happens at work. Okay, so those values are called core values, the values that you see at the workplace, and they are seen as a, a, a great part of the company, an intrinsic part of the company, because it will support the vision and mission of that company, it will be a part of the company's identity. So, importantly, it's been expected that every com- corporate company should be professional and imbibe ethics of work. So there are different ethics of work that you may see, right? So importantly, at the workplace, there are certain values that a professional should have. So things like having good character. Everybody that's working anywhere should have good character, should take responsibility when necessary, responsibility for tax given to him or her, responsibilities for projects, should be punctual to work. So you see that some workplaces, they will tell you 8 a.m. is our time for resumption. 9 a.m. is our time for resumption. Because to see that when everybody resumes at the same time, then work can fully commence at that time. Customers can come right in and all of that, and then they can be able to fulfill that tax for the day and work towards earning a salary at the end of the month. All right? So different things guide how a workplace uh, operates. You also see things like accountability. Accountability is a very important um, aspect. So that's why some organizations you see that there is an HR professional that is actually, you know, working hand in hand with the employees, making sure that they are actually delivering at their work. Okay, or the accountant is keeping adequate records of all expenses and incomes. Right. So another value that a professional should imbibe at work is admitting and correcting mistakes right if you make if, if if you make a mistake at a workplace it's important that you admit it is what i work towards correcting it truth and fairness is also another professional value where you, the person is honest enough the person is fair in his or her dealings with other employ, employees okay integrity justice respect for one another those are the values that you can see with a professional at a workplace. Another one is positive attitude. How does that person relate with other people at the workplace? Even if it's with the employer, is the person having um good attitude when relating with others or just being negative, just being rude? So these are generally values that are expected of people at the workplace. Okay, people are expected to be competent, to be able to display teamwork skills, be able to work with teams, be able to display leadership skills, be able to maintain confidentiality. There are some organizations that will tell you that they have thread secrets, that once you finish working there, you're not supposed to tell another organization that you work at their own secrets. Okay, so professionals have to imbibe certain values. Right, and you see that sometimes these values may be the exact values that that individual already has, and that makes it beautiful. But situations where somebody is working in an organization and the organizational values are clearly stated, are clearly saying, "Oh, don't don't disclose our information, our trade values." No matter how the person says, "Oh, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be telling the truth everywhere I am." They are bound by that organization's work values. Okay, so I'm just trying to make this clear to you that there will be situations where you have your own values and the organization has its own values. As long as you've committed to work in that organization, you will have to uphold the organization's work values. Right, you will see that some organizations detail that a person should dress a certain way, right? Maybe wear corporate, no casuals, and of course, even if the person, the values of the person include dressing comfortably, as long as the person has committed to working there, he can now decide, oh, I'm going to uphold this person, this workplace's um dressing ethics, dressing values, right? So. I hope this is clear, right? As we move forward, you're going to be able to see more insights on values, especially how to create your own personal 
values all right so as we step forward let's look into ethical and non-ethical values there are situations where you see the word ethics and ethics has to do with something being good or doing the right thing all right every institution has ethics and ethical values are the kind of values that determine what is right or wrong. They play very important roles in setting the standards of our work lives. So you can see that ethical values include things like justice, honesty, empathy. These are ethical values. We expect that everybody respects one another. Everybody is responsible for their own behavior. Everybody is able to show empathy and compassion for other people. Those are ethical values. So non-ethical values are the direct opposites. So things like theft, bribery, non-confidentiality. So I'll give you examples of this in detail. Ethical values could include... Um, for an organization that you are honest as an individual all right that you are responsible with your own tax that you're not giving work to do a target to work on and you don't even deliver on it at all all right why unethical values the values that are not ethical things like non-confidentiality you are not made in charge of production in a big company and you are made to understand that you're not supposed to disclose the trade secret of that company and you then step out and disclose it that's non-ethical okay it's non-ethical and it means that when you do something like this it depends on the company you may even be sued you may even be sacked all right and the thing is even if this is not on a company level that you are working with these values um Ethical and non-ethical values also work outside the company, okay? So you see instances where your own personal values include things like this, justice, honesty, and then you understand that you don't want to have non-ethical values. You don't want to be that person that is abusive. You don't want to be that person that steals other people's things or give bribe, all right? So most times... Ethical values are things that you will notice that right from childhood, you've been aware of them. You're aware of the importance of being honest. Even if every day you're not honest, you just know that it's important to be honest. You know the benefits, all right? So, I know that these things are things that you've already been living with. But I want you to be able to contrast it in today's environment and then in how you can actually employ it in the workplace as well. Right. As we continue, we are going to look into the steps to identifying and keeping personal values. I mentioned that there are values for yourself, that is personal values, values that guide countries, that is national value, and you heard some of Nigerians' value, and then values that guide the workplace. Now, we are going to be looking at how can you identify and keep your own personal value. All right, you as an individual, that is your responsibility, your personal responsibility to be able to come up with your own value system, something that guides you. So, start with a beginner's mind because you'll be starting on a journey to discover even some things about yourself. So, you need to keep a clean slate, you don't need to presume that you know. All of your values and so there's no point to you you need to just calm down if possible even start afresh and start asking yourself what are values what are more values that i would have to include in my own list currently then the second thing is to create your list of personal values now there are different ways of arriving at a list one of it could be that you would go through experiences that you've had before let's say you had great moments you were happy Happy. You something there was an an incident occurred and it turned out the way you wanted. Then what was it that made you happy? Maybe the incident was about um 
um, happiness. What happened made you to be happy? And then what made you to be happy? You achieved something. What did you achieve? Maybe you achieved ec- um, academic excellence. Why did you achieve academic excellence? Because you took things like personal development seriously. Because you studied hard. So you now see that you can make a list of all those things. As anything that makes you, um, that made you glad before. You can just keep recording them. Happiness, academic excellence, hard work, right? List all of them down another approach to it is you could look at uh, the values that you that that have suppressed so if there was ever a time when you were angry when you were upset and then later on you regretted it flip those moments and then think about it what made you regret it okay so was it that you were not happy about the way you you, you you bust out in anger. So you could decide that, okay, your values could be be you actually curtailing how you bust out in anger, all right? Your values could be decorum. Your values could be, you know, kind speech, not being vulgar, not being unkind with your speech. These are the things that you can keep listing out, right? So these are different things that can guide you as you make your own list you can decide that you just think about it and decide oh what what do i want to actually guide my con- conduct in life right make a list of all those things i've just given you a few ideas that you can work with okay so another thing is all of those lists that you've made those things that you've mentioned maybe they're up to 20 or 40 come up with categories for them Okay, so you can decide that things like um, learning, growth, development belong together. Okay, and then you can call it a uh, personal development. You can call it responsibility. You can decide that you your values like um, timeliness, um, accountability, responsibility are all related together. Put them in related groups so that th- these are things that you can easily remember. Okay. When you put them in those related groups, then it's something that you can just highlight, all right? You can call them a particular name. So you can decide, okay, transparency, honesty, integrity, directness, truthfulness, they all belong together. So when you even want to give a central name that I, I like to be transparent and honest, you know that integrity is part of it. You know that being truthful, being direct is part of it, okay? So... Now you need to determine your top values. So what are the values that are essential to your life? What are the values that um, represent your primary way of doing things? What are the values that you really want to support your inner self? So you can decide, oh, family is an important value for you. Freedom is an important value for you. Um, Connection with other people is an important value for you. Creativity is your primary way of doing things, all right? You know, these are the things that you can sit down and decide on. So you can decide to come up with maybe 10 values, 10 core values, right? Between 5 and 10 is the magic range. Come up with those values, rank them in order of importance, internalize it, ensure that you are aware of your own values. You can tell yourself, okay, these are my top 10 values that are guiding how I operate. I operate based on on these value systems. List them all out. And then the next thing you have to do is to implement them. What do I mean by implementing them? Remember that those values are not just what you write and keep for yourself. You actually have to exude it. If you say that your value system, generosity is part of it, then you have to be generous with your time, with your ideas, okay? If you say honesty is part of it, then that means that you have to be honest, all right? And of course, you these are things that you have to implement and make sure that they are actually profitable for you. What do I mean by profitable? They are benefiting you. They are not unethical. So there will be times where you may need to evaluate your value systems and know, okay, are they inconsistent with your identity? Do they feel like it's not something that is part of you? You can evaluate it and withdraw them and change them. All right? So... In implementing the values, you get to embody them, you get to personalize and make it your own. So the takeaway here is you need to come up with your own value system. The value system that guides how you operate. Those value systems will also guide 
the kind of places that you even want to work at you first begin by implementing your own values because when you implement your own personal values that will guide you when you maybe come across an organization a workplace that's its own set of values and not in line with your own set of values you can then decide at that point that all right you can you, that is not something you can live with and then move on to another organization that their value system is in line with your own value system all right so Living with personal values, living with personal responsibility is very important. Almost every successful person out there has lived um, profitable lives, fruitful lives because they came up with their own personal values. Values of respect, respect for diversity, values of integrity, honesty, openness. Different value systems exist. Personal development. These are things that you can begin to look into now. And come up with your own personal value system that will guide your life in conclusion here's a quote by tony c and this is something that you can actually reflect on personal core values define who you are and a company's core values define her character and brand for individuals character is destiny for companies for organization culture is destiny so you decide the value systems that will operate you, that you operate with because it can determine in the long run how you live your life right so we've come to the end of this do you have any questions please go ahead and drop it on slack right drop any question that you have on slack and then don't forget to take this post test this post test is very very important i'll see you in the next one bye